Kairos WWE News and Rumors here showing you another video guys and this time we have the Monday Night Raw August 15th 2016 edition preview guys so I'm just going to take you through it straight away as you can see Brock Lesnar is advertised for a few weeks now Brock Lesnar will be on this Monday Night Raw and this is the last Monday Night Raw before the action packed, the second biggest event of the year in WWE, SummerSlam. Guys, the t now the, quick, the top five quick hits. Lesnar to address the Viper. Rusev vows vengeance against Roman Reigns tonight. Seth Rollins to deconstruct the Demon King. How will the New Day retaliate against Gallows and Anderson? Do cheaters prosper? And the sixth hit though is Char Charlotte to go solo. Okay, Lesnar is to address the Viper guys. We all know about their clash at SummerSlam. Probably the biggest match on the match card. Um, these two. Um, this is a match in the dream match in the making. Everyone was wanting to see this for 15 years. We've already seen how it started off when um when the last time Brock Lesnar was on Raw, I think two to three weeks ago, when um Randy Orton invaded Raw, RKO'd Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman um did an absolutely brilliant segment and promo to build that match up. That was the first beginning of that first beginning promos and segments of that match, and the build up of that SummerSlam matchup. Then we saw the next night on SmackDown Live, Brock Lesnar invaded SmackDown Live, F5 Randy Orton when all the security was there, but they were scared to him. And Randy Orton has vowed to kill the legend of Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, referring to the fact that the beast has been nearly unbeatable since conquering the Undertaker's WrestleMania streak in 2014, and it was 21 and 1. Even the Raw and SmackDown Live general managers, Mick Foley and Daniel Bryan, have agreed that their respective rosters will refrain from invading the opposite opposing show whatever lesnar and paul Heyman have planned will undoubtedly raise the ire of the smackdown live serpent now wwe always say this but i'm sure we don't believe this now next up is about Ro rusev vows vengeance against roman reigns tonight um today i saw about um about half an hour ago i saw a, v a wwe exclusive video of rusev and nana entering the stadium and tom phillips did a quick interview of, um on them about 30 seconds and rusev was absolutely angry about how roman reigns pushed his wife's head in the cake and we're gonna expect something big we are definitely going to see roman reigns and Rus rusev on this monday night show, show something will happen i, I think probably um rusev will have the upper hand this week guys but something will happen that the ravishing russian vowed revenge against a big dog in an interview on ww.com and earlier today today the bulgarian brute affirmed that he will crush his summer slam for tonight will reigns face rusev's wrath in the corpus crusty Christy, texas sorry and i think he will now seth rollins to deconstruct the demon king um, we have, um, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor, they must have a major segment tonight, they must, 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 because last week all they did was show video packages, which I think was absolutely ridiculous and disgraceful, that they're going to show two packages, and this is your first ever WWE you had you bring a major championship to Monday Night Raw, a major championship, a WWE Universal Championship, something equivalent to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, okay? And this is, I think, this is the 29th edition of SummerSlam, and we've never ever seen this Universal Championship. These two, one of these two men, will become the first ever WWE Universal Champion in WWE history, and we didn't say, see them in the same ring last week. The, that's an absolute joke there should be something but i don't like how they keep saying the demon king the demon king should not be showing up on road that is a money character that should only be on pay-per-views every pay-per-view like SummerSlam, big don't put i hope i really really hope they don't put the demon finn Balor on um on monday night raw so i'm just interested to see what happens between those two in the build-up to their match this is the last build that they have and how will the new day retaliate against gallows and anderson 
As remember, Dr. Anderson and Dr. Gallows. It's absolutely funny. And their new cure and their testing of ring post itis. When they just get Big E and try to crush his balls literally into the steel post. So, although Big E is still recovering at home, the rest of the New Day will be at rule and will likely have much to say about the disrespectful challenges before the WWE Tag Team Championship clash at SummerSlam. But for some reason, I think Big E will be returning tonight. That, that That's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. I think Big E will be returning tonight in the last Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam. And I think for once, the New Day will get the upper hand on Gallows and Anderson. And do cheaters prosper? I don't even want to talk about this. That's just about um Titus O'Neil and Darren Young. Stephanie McMahon did say they're gonna bring LGBT, and uh, that's exactly it. Looks exactly clear with their um the past two weeks and their matches, just grabbing each other's tights. Oh, oh, grabbing each other. Oh, what good matches? No, I, I, I'm I'm never gonna talk about that. So we're actually talking about something relevant. Charlotte goes solo. We seen last week that it's confirmed that Sasha Banks will be facing Charlotte. Charlotte in a one-on-one -on -one matchup for the women's championship as Sasha Banks beat Dana Brooke last week confirming it will be one-on-one -on -one, and Dana Brooke is banned at ringside but we all know Charlotte so I think something will happen I don't really think this is a one-on-one -on -one matchup maybe we could even see Ric Flair return and still be on Charlotte's side and say this is a whole setup and blah 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 I think something will happen we can see Ric Flair return and um screw Sasha Banks and make Charlotte win the championship. But I'm interested in the build up tonight for the WWE Women's Championship clash at SummerSlam. Big big matchup guys. And um, that is the review for the August 15th, 2016 edition of Monday Night Raw. Make sure to like, comment, share this video all over the internet. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Kairos News. I just hit of 100 followers today. I think I have 101 now, but let's get back to the topic. That's it for this video and make sure to subscribe.